guys, how are you all? I hope you're doing very well. Today is Saturday the 18th of February and I thought we could spend the weekend together. I've got Lewis here. We've got a very good weekend coming up. Hi, Ne Barata. <laughs> so tell them what we're up to then. So right now we are going to go and get my mum and dad a little present because it's official. We've left their house. Like we've been living there for four weeks. Four weeks today. Yep. And it's time to leave and go back home. Um, just kind of wanting my own flat. I want to be my own with my own things. Um, so that's a plan. Um, so we're going to get them a little gift to say thank you for having us. Your Cause, idea. Because it was your own idea. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so what are we getting them? A voucher for Cafe Bohem. And some flowers and a little thank you card. So we're off to get that and we'll show you when we got them. Yippee! Right, so Lewis has picked up this card. A great big thank you. Yeah. Right, go on then. Oh! Whoa. <laughs> it's a bouquet of flowers in itself. To Dora Dave. Lots of love, Lou and Ray. Oh, that's okay. We like a pop out card at the moment. Really? Well, you do, and I've just followed suit. <laughs> <laughs> and then these are the flowers, just um, Tesco, but look at the colours. They were called Vibrant. I just love them. They were a bit squished though, weren't they? But And then we just picked up this Cafe Bohem voucher. Lewis, they didn't open until 12, so Lewis had to phone them being like, can we come in early? Right, we're back in the car because we're off to do something so exciting! So we are off to Brew Dog and Inverary for some lunch with Cameron and Lore, my brother and his girlfriend. And then, as our Christmas present to them, we got them vouchers for Thainston House. House. So we're, out, we're off out there to stay tonight, which is so nice because I've not had a night away from this house in like a month which mm. doesn't seem like long but when you've been cooped up and not really been able to leave it's a big deal so i am so excited are you i'm so excited <laughs> let's go i came i saw i came i saw i praise the lord and break the law i take with mine and take some more it rains it pours it rains it pours i came what's that <laughs> They your favourite chocolates. They are my favourite. I know. Well, <laughs> you're welcome. You didn't get them from me. What you can them. I say except you're, you're welcome. welcome and thank you. And thank you. I do hear the dial tone though. So Cameron's trying to phone himself on the phone. Phone hurts. Can you still have it on? Then? Hey! hey. <laughs> there we go. Hello. Hi. Uh... Oh my goodness, it works. I'm a genius. <laughs> so the reason we're doing this is because we're trying to phone it back and see if it's got a cool ringtone. <laughs> so now we're going to phone back the number. We might get through to reception, <laughs> who knows, <laughs> but time will tell. No answering. Must be busy downstairs. You're checking. Where are they? What are you doing? <laughs> Hello, I was wondering if you could put me through to room three a week, please. Thank you, bye. <laughs> We should do that next weekend. <laughs> when we're not here. <laughs> oh yeah, we stayed in your room last weekend. <laughs> Can you smell the fresh paint? That was us. I smell too. So we're just waiting for uh, their room to be ready and for us to go to the spa. 
But cheers, everyone. Cheers. cheers. Merry, Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Yeah. yeah. And we've got this bag here all looked out and the slippers. <laughs> oh, it's just oh. lovely. Mm. Is it? Mm. Nice That's... Italian Prosecco, is it? Yeah. Cheers. That's amazing. <laughs> oh. Hello, dear. Hello. Room ready? Yes! Woohoo! And I'm sending someone for the keys. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> right, so this is our room. I'm all dressed with a smile. Look at my shoes. <laughs> Look at Lewis's shoes. <laughs> but we're so hard to walk in crutches <laughs> and these flip flops. But anyway, we've got the cool phone that we've discovered is actually really cool and quite funny. And then we've got the wardrobe. And the bed, maybe if you stand over at the door. Mm -hmm. And the bed. Just really lovely, isn't it? I'm really happy with it. Mm. And then this is our bathroom, which I think is new. It's uh, smelling of paint. It's really modern compared to the room. But lovely space. Very lovely space, big mirror, huge sink. And Same. then, Mm. A massive walk-in shower with really cool shower head and stuff. Oh. Isn't it? Oh, it is. It's lovely. Yeah, it's really nice. Really happy with this room. Look at their robes. <laughs> <laughs> You're lucky you've got trunks on. <laughs> They're ridiculous. Shrank <laughs> in the wash. These ours are like proper nice towel oh, material. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming. <laughs> You're not even in yet. Oh, where does this end? Right, guys, we're in the sauna. How nice is this? No, yeah, no, I said the sauna. Yeah. I'm at the jacuzzi. It's so nice, the pool's warm. We got down to the spa and the lady laughed at Cameron and Laura for how small their um, oh, how small their roles are. It's absolutely hilarious. Cameron walked in and she went. So funny. But yeah, it's really nice in here. Really happy. We've been in the sauna. There's actually a hot tub and sauna outside in there. Yes. But it was occupied and it was so awkward and I stuck my head and stopped on there. Yeah, and then wait, there was some people Yeah, they just waited. Yeah, it's awkward. Yeah, this is so nice. Spent like an hour or so down here so far. It's so nice and cozy. Guys, I'm so carried away with my walk and I'm going to show it to you again. We've got the whole pool to <laughs> We've got the whole pool to ourselves. You're walking away. Right, go on, Reed. <laughs> Get steaming. Are you actually going to steam? Yeah. Okay, what happens when you're there? <laughs> right, guys, back in the room getting ready. I've been using the Dyson Airwrap to curl my hair. Just one thing I want to show you for all you Dyson Airwrap owners I have set off the fire alarm in the Citizen M at Tower Hill in London. Like, I think that's my air wrap. That's the air filter. Oh my god, what were the chances of that? 
I was saying in London, I set the fire alarm off with my Dyson air wrap. And when I was just doing my hair there, I was getting a button, a white button flash up here. I'm not going to turn it on again. And Lewis just Googled it and it said to, it means the uh, filter needs emptied. I'm in, I'm affronted. Anyway, we just... you're recording that as well. I know, what were the chances? Anyway, the guy just came and said, it was your room, is everything okay? Is it straighteners or something? And I was like, yeah. Anyway, my hair's done, it's fine. But oh my God, what were the chances of that at every hotel that that has come to, that's happened? I actually watched a TikTok video and you get like a little thing in your pack and your big box that it comes in. Yeah, in that box comes like a thing to clean it. So TikTok a video of that and that'll sort you out to prevent what has just happened here at Thainston House. Right, we're here in the bar. Through there is the bar, so we're in like a lounge area. There's like a fire over there, I don't know if you can oh, see it. <laughs> no fire alarms in here. Um, we ordered drinks, well, all, we all ordered cocktails and they said that they would be a wee while because they're really busy. Oh, that's a cocktail being shaken up just now. So fingers crossed. <laughs> and dinner it was half seven, but we've now pushed it back to quarter to eight. So, let's see what happens to these cocktails. Right, so we're in the restaurant. We <laughs> we haven't had our drinks yet, and we ordered them half an hour ago. And then there was a mess up. I asked for a strawberry daiquiri, and they said not today. So not tonight. Not tonight. Yep. Yeah, so. Another night's it's fine. But yeah, we've made it to the restaurant. Thirsty because we haven't had our drinks and it's a lovely restaurant isn't it stunning so pretty and we'll let Cam and Laura know that this is a gift from David he's, he's given me some money to order a bottle of red for us tonight yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi. Thanks, Dave. thank you so the wine took two minutes and <laughs> the guy that we ordered the cocktails with actually came up and gave us the wine. Um, After we were putting in our food order. Yeah. <laughs> he just butted it out the way and was like, got the wine soaking us out. So we're at 40 minutes, are we? Yeah, I think we're over that. It's we're, like 42 or something. 42. 42 minutes. We're waiting for these drinks that we ordered at the bar, but he came with the wine, which was nice. And here we are. Thank you, Dad, for that. Right, so we've got some bread and butter and then we've got some canopy. This chicken liver parfait. Yep. Chicken liver parfait, we've got smoked salmon, haggis fritters and then some mushroom thing. Lovely. Right, so we've got garlic and chilli king prawns and Lewis has got the haggis fritters and the canopies were amazing. Cute little touch and this smells incredible. And update on the cocktails, they still haven't arrived. <laughs> <laughs> Scoops of honeycomb, even though I just asked for one, but we'll take what we can get. And then <laughs> Lewis has got his milkshake, <laughs> which was meant to be two scoops. So is Laura. <laughs> milkshake. And Cameron asked for chocolate and hazel um, honeycomb and got vanilla. And honeycomb. <laughs> Lewis is going to enjoy his soup. Um, I'll, I think that's vanilla to be honest, but we'll just go with what we can get. Anyway. Yum. Yum. Mm. Update. Quote of the night. The waitress said, did I get your ice cream order right? No. No, you never. It was an absolute shambles. It's been a bit disastrous down here, but to be honest, the room and the spa for me has been absolutely perfect. Judith Anderson from the ship. Minus the paint everywhere. <laughs> nice now, pertaining room, all in service. Now we're reading, Trip, is it TripAdvisor reviews yeah, on this place? A lot of them are really good though. Yeah. It's like either really good or really bad. There's, yeah, there's no in between. in between. Like loads of people are saying five star, but we'll see what happens. Sorry, I'll keep you updated. Hello guys, I thought I would just catch you quickly before going to bed. Um, so tonight was a bit of a disaster. The manager of the restaurant was, he was, he was all right. 
Um, the food was so good, like the canopies that we got, the bread, that all made us really happy. And then um, we had our starters, which was so good. The prawns, really good. And the lamb wasn't pink enough for me, but it was really nice. And I would have just had a mint sauce on the side. But other than that, really, really nice. It was a shame about the ice cream order that just, that, that did it for us. Um, with everything, we got so much, we, we barely had a bill to be honest because a lot got taken off. Um, but yeah, I had a really lovely night. We've just had a few drinks in the bar. We ended up going back to the bar. It was a rough start when we went back through and we just couldn't believe it after what happened earlier. But the barman came over and totally redeemed himself at the end. So it was nice. We're just off to bed now. We are absolutely shattered. We've had quite a lot to drink to be honest. Um, so excited for a good night's sleep. Got clean jammies on, excited for just beauty sleep. So we'll catch you guys in the morning. Good morning, you lot. Um, we're just heading down for breakfast now. I slept amazing. I really loved this room so much. The bed was so comfortable. Um, yeah, so, so far the spa in this room has been amazing. You don't really sleep very well, but you're wondering if that's booze related. Probably. And the... what, what are you? I know I can hear you. What is that? If you live on a farm, you know. <laughs> um. Anyway, I didn't hear any of that. Um. But yeah, heading down for breakfast now. Have high hopes. Um. Love breakfast and. We'll catch you down there. After breakfast breakfast was so good incredible faultless uh, like we actually said with cam and laura like one of the best hotel breakfasts ever yep 9.9 .9 out of 10 if you know me mm. always room for improvement but it was class there was so much choice there was so much on a continental menu that came from the kitchen mm. and then the big buffet bit and then we got our hot meal wasn't a buffet like you ordered it it was just really really good but it was good as well because they had such like expensive things on yeah. the menu which was included in our rate so like lobster for example i've yeah. never seen lobster on a breakfast menu and then there's like a supplement like smoked salmon and eggs and like pancakes and bacon and syrup and then obviously the big french toast did you say that no french, french toast. toast oh so good they totally redeemed themselves with breakfast the spa again lovely the staff in there were so helpful yesterday they were so worried about everyone slipping not just me and my yeah. crutches so that was handy there was fresh juice and water down there um, the room, the shower, it was a massive walk-in shower. I think the bathroom had just been redecorated. Reception were lovely. When I walked in yesterday, a lady came up to me and was like, can I get your bags? Can I help you up the stairs? Like, yeah. oh, I don't know. I feel like I've changed my mind on the place, but I'm still... I think it... like last night, it was easy to be annoyed in the moment. Yeah. Because it was just like a... A continuous it was a con it chain wasn't of just errors. Like, it wasn't one thing. It wasn't one big thing. It was a load of little things like that just added up. And as you were getting the next horrible thing, it was just like making things about. worse. Like yeah. we just had to laugh. Like when, especially when they didn't write down that ice cream order. That was a highlight for me. Yeah. When they didn't write down our dessert order, we were literally all having ice cream, two scoops each, except you were having one. And she was like, "Hopefully, I'll yeah, remember." Yeah, hopefully I'll remember. Ha. <laughs> It's not about getting things off your bill or getting mm. things for free. To, do we? No, we've come here expecting to spend money on good things. So I'd, I'd rather pay and get things right, right, than have things yeah. as they were. But anyway, oh, I'm a mixed mixed views. Pro that was the only downside. The think... rest of it was like amazing. If dinner went well and the bar went well before, I think if they had like one or two more staff members on, that would have been a great experience all round. Mm. We're just going to give a rating, but I'm actually finding that really hard after the really positive experience we had this morning because it did kind of ruin things last night. It was mm. constantly like a damp dampener. 
but I try to see the good in everything and the positives and everything. The quality of the food, despite the service, the quality of all the food we yeah, ate was like top notch. So like, good. can't complain. So, I'm going to break down my review into different segments. So I'd say overall a six out of ten. Everything except dinner was probably a nine. Dinner was like a two. Mm-hmm. But they'll meet at like a six out of ten. I agree, six out of ten for me, and yeah, like everything else was like a nine point five. But anyway, we're gonna close off this vlog now. Just a little stay. I hope it's not too long a video. But if you like this video, remember to give it a big thumbs up and hit the like button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a video. Do you know how many of you don't subscribe and you're still watching her? Come on, come on, get over it. <laughs> and we'll see you in our next video. Bye. Bye.